It's almost nine. I'm Faye Barker. Tony Blair has strongly criticised the way Saddam Hussein was executed. Speaking in Downing Street tonight, he said the way the former Iraqi dictator was jeered as he was put to death was completely wrong. But he urged people not to forget what Saddam had done to his own people. The crimes that Saddam committed does not excuse the manner of his execution. And the manner of his execution does not excuse the crimes. Now, I think that's a perfectly sensible position that most people would reasonably accept. America says it has acted on the credible evidence that al-Qaeda fighters are hiding in Somalia. U.S. forces carried out two raids on the country this morning, targeting Islamic militants in the south of the African country. The Somali government, which backed the raid, says a number of people were killed. More than 500 offenders who committed serious crimes abroad are having their records checked again after a Home Office mistake meant their details were left off the police national database. Officers say this means convicted sex offenders could have been allowed to work with children. Someone could go to, let's say, Germany, commit a sexual offence, be convicted by the German courts, rightly, properly, serve a sentence. Um, that would not be known to any British police officer when they came back to the UK and it frankly wouldn't be known to the British courts when they re-offended in Britain and went before the courts. They would go with a clean record which obviously affects sentence. That's a totally unacceptable position I would say professionally and crucially from a public protection point of view. Information was over a period supplied to the UK and frankly it sit in box files. Prince William has appealed to the paparazzi to stop following his girlfriend, saying he wants more than anything for the attention to end. Interest in Kate Middleton has escalated in recent weeks, leading up to today, her 25th birthday. But photographers have been defending their actions. They say there's plenty of demand for new pictures of her. What the editors wanted with the death of Diana was another royal that would sell magazines. They said that with Diana on the cover of a magazine, it would increase sales by 25%. Uh, no, no other royal can do that, so that's what they're looking for, and, and Kate has got that star factor. Now, after our recent disasters in the Eurovision Song Contest, help could be at hand. Morrissey is in talks to write and possibly perform this year's entry. The former Smiths singer expressed an interest after last year's entry by Daz Sampson only reached 19th place. Now, coming up tomorrow on the Green Britain Report, the school that's top of the class when it comes to teaching how to live an environmentally friendly life. That's tomorrow at 7 p.m. So that's all for now. I'll be back with more news at 5 to 11. Until then, bye bye. You need to kill me. Taste the sweetness of revenge. One of you has to die. You're looking for this, Jethro? I've killed enough men in my life. Yes, yes, yes! It's going to be just sweet watching you die. NCIS, close the case. 9 o'clock Friday on 5. Set apart by its use of science, when the other cop shows go home, these guys keep on working. And we get to see not just who done it, but how. Two classic episodes tonight, back to back. This is CSI on 5.